I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com, and welcome to Pop Culture Minute. And joining me, our host, co-host, Terry Taronis. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. It's a pleasure to be here, Eric. And I'm really excited. We get to talk about comics. Comics and television, two of my favorite things. So I always look forward to uh, this time of year. It's pretty great. What's going on this week is uh, so many different uh, cons and festivals. Uh, the first actually kicked off on Tuesday. It's called Series Fest. Mm -hmm. And Series Fest is basically Sundance for television. And it's held in Denver. It's the only one of its kind that I'm aware of. And it's in its third year. And on Tuesday, there's a big sh uh, shindig at uh, Red Rocks where uh, the theme was the 90s. So there are artists from the 90s who came out and performed in Vogue, Lauryn Hill, Common. It oh, was wow. a big uh, opening to their festival. So it runs through July the 2nd. Mm -hmm. uh, and there's all sorts of panels. You can watch TV shows that aren't good. They're going to come out in the fall. And there's some independent shows, but there are also some pretty big names. Uh, Alan Tudyk and Nathan Fillion are going to be there. Um, Anne Heche is debuting her show, oh, uh, really? The Brave, which is going to be an NBC show in the fall. I've seen it. It's not too bad. It's a military uh, action drama, kind of like a little bit like Homeland, but a network version. Mm -hmm. um, so that's running. Uh, it started Tuesday, and it runs all the way through uh, July 2nd. And, you know... I think the coolest thing of all time is you got to be in a picture with Stan Lee. Tell us about that. Oh, okay, so that's Denver Comic Con. So <laughs> I think it's to totally cool. Denver Comic Con, yeah, there's, there's a picture with me and some of my friends uh, from last year's Denver Comic Con. Right. And, of course, it's back again the same weekend as Series Fest, which is a lot of television and comic uh, book action all in one weekend, but all in the Denver area, so it's pretty close to us. Mm -hmm. um, the big names that are coming, Nathan Fillion's going to be at both. Wow. He's the big draw uh, for Denver Comic Con, but also uh, John Cusack, 80s icon, yes. uh, who I'm excited to meet. Weird Al Yankovic <laughs> is going to be there, <laughs> which you wouldn't think of him at a con. You know, right. it seems a little odd, but he's an odd guy, so I guess it makes sense. Uh, and also, uh, oh, this, uh, some of the kids, uh, the childhood actors from uh, Stranger Things, the hit Netflix show, right. are going to be there. So it's, oh, and sorry, I forgot, almost forgot. Iron Fist and Luke Cage, the actors from those two Marvel right. shows that are also on Netflix. That's uh, Finn Jones and Mike Coulter. They're going to be there too. So lots of fun. Panels, um, uh, there's co cosplayers, you know, people dressed up. There's sure. all sorts of uh, things for sale. A little, little nerdophilia is what I like to call it, or what my wife calls it, uh, little, you know, action figures, sure. comic books. All sorts of fun things at Denver Comic Con. All right. Well, thank you so much. And, of course, you can read all about it in the Gazette and Gazette.com with Pop Culture Minute. I'm Eric Singer, Gazette.com, along with our own Terry Taronis. See you next time.